just landed in Vancouver and obviously the first stop that we want to hit is some good quality dim sum. There are over 600 Chinese restaurants in Vancouver and its surrounding areas. And about 20% of the people living in Vancouver come from Chinese heritage, according to the most recent census data. Dim sum, specifically Cantonese-style dim sum, is a delicious way to enjoy small bites of a variety of different kinds of food. Popular items are shumai, pork buns, and sticky rice. Tea also plays a big role in the meal, which is why it's typically served for breakfast or for lunch. It's a little late in the day, and I know that most dim sum places close mid-afternoon. Um, so we found a place that serves dim sum all day, and that will be our first stop. It's called Jade Dynasty, and I have high hopes because Vancouver is supposed to be known for some great dim sum. Let's go eat as much dim sum as we possibly can. I was on like an eight hour flight, so just don't mind me. I'll see you when we're at Jade's. In all, we'll be hitting up three dim sums in BC. After Jade Dynasty in Chinatown, we'll visit Chef Tony in Richmond and Dynasty Seafood in Fairview Slopes. We decided to order items that seemed like they'd be readily available at most restaurants. Can we get the prawn dumplings, the steamed shumai, the sticky rice wraps, and the steamed sesame curd buns with egg yolk? Mm -hmm. What is your most popular thing on this menu? How about spring roll? This one's good. The prawn spring roll is the house specialty, so I guess we'll get one of those too. Yeah. Oh, and the barbecue pork buns. I really love dim sum, so I was very excited to see how each place interpreted these classic dishes. You see this? Not what I was hoping for. If I've learned anything from my experiences with dim sum in the past, it's to not immediately eat dumplings that are steaming hot like this unless you're looking to burn your tongue. So I'm gonna let this dumpling chill for a second. It was a pretty promising bite for the first bite in Vancouver. There, there's just full, full, full flipping chunks of shrimp in these dumplings, which is, I appreciate that. Wow, oh, more, more. <gasps> Shumai, my favorite. I love how the barbecue pork is actually like peeking out. Whoa. Now that's a good looking pork bun. Hopefully I don't burn myself. I'm very tired, I don't know where that accent came from. This is another one that I'm normally not a fan of, but if it's anything like the sticky rice that really surprised me, I think I'm gonna like this. Vancouver is really just like... Changing how I feel about dim sum as a whole. This, I would never order this normally. This is so good. The next day, we headed over to Chef Tony's in Richmond to try some of Vancouver's most popular dim sum. We came here at 11.30 expecting to not have to wait or book a reservation, I guess, in advance. 45 minutes, waiting 45 minutes for dim sum. We are gonna get the black truffle pork and shrimp dumplings, the shrimp and matsutake dumplings, the barbecue pork bun, of course, the wild rice, sticky rice, and meat wrapped in lotus leaf, and the rice noodles, but they have four different kinds, and I can't pick which one, so we're just gonna ask which one's the most popular. Last but not least, we're gonna get the Yi Dong Special Egg White Custard Tarts. It's really, really hard for me right now to stay on course and just order the staples, because everything on this menu looks so good. But we have to stick up to the course, right, Sydney? We
our waiter insisted on helping us pick a few additional Chef Tony items. The steamed cuttlefish and shrimp yeah. dumpling. They put in mushroom and shrimp, but they wrap and we do, we do use the uh, cuttlefish and uh -huh. so that's why it's brown. Got it. Brand. Got it. There's edible gold on top. Edible gold on top? Yes. This is from the uh, United States. Is that kind of what Chef Tony's like known for? Kind of like making everything fancy? Yes. And you like taro, we do have the pan fried one. Got it. So most the taro cake? Taro. I think you can stop it right now. It's okay right now. We deserve your order later, other than the egg tart. Can we get the spare ribs? Okay. Okay. Great, thank you so much. We got the spare ribs. That might be the best egg tart that I've ever had. Oh, there's more food. I love me some shumai, but I think what sets this one apart is that Chef Tony adds black truffle, and that smell is just. Like I'm drowning in it. I can't wait to eat this one. Black truffle belongs on shumai. Everything is super light, not too heavy. The sticky rice wrapped in lotus leaf is super aromatic. The rice is chewy and salty, and it has this like sausage on top. I love it. Shall we move on? The cuttlefish ink shrimp dumpling might be the best thing we ordered here. Not just because it has gold flecks on top, but the moment you take a bite of this, it's like you're biting into a good, like, seafoody dumpling. I feel like I'm having dim sum in like a new way here. I love pork bun so much. I think there is a reason why we waited 45 minutes to sit here. The food, I mean everything, even the dishes that I don't normally like at dim sum, I enjoyed. I'm so happy. Look at this spread. Look at this spread. It's the best spread of all time. Sometimes sometimes some places have dishes that are hit or miss. Everything here is just, it's a hit. They're all hits. Our final dim sum spot was the upscale Dynasty Seafood Restaurant in Fairview Slopes. I'm just going to try and look for dishes that we've had in the past. So can we get the steamed shrimp dumpling, yep. the shumai, yep. and the sticky rice and lotus leaf, the egg tart, and Actually, did we order the barbecue pork bun already? Uh, no, we didn't. Of all of the signature ones that have these little emblems, okay. what would you say is the most popular? I would always recommend this one. Baked barbecue pork pie with lemon? Yeah, that's the most popular. I guess we'll get that too. Is that enough for two of us? So I guess wherever you go, you're gonna get some kind of fancy dim sum plate. That's their signature. This is... What they said is the closest thing to the steamed rice roll that we've had at other places. And obviously this one's pan fried. It smells really good. So obviously they're pan fried so they have a little bit more crunch to them. They're not as greasy though as I was expecting it to be. And because it, it's like pan fried, I'm assuming with the soy sauce in one pot versus just like kind of dipping or pouring the soy sauce over it. You're getting the soy sauce flavor kind of all throughout. What's this? This is the deep fried taro cake with foie gras and barbecue pork. That sounds very extra. I surprisingly really, really like this. 
and I think it's because the most outstanding part of the the overall dish is that the taro outer layer is the kind of base flavor for the whole thing. Yes, vegetable. I like it a lot. This is a necessary thing right now. Vegetables. Too hot. I think this may have cooled down a little bit, so let's go back to this. So the shrimp dumpling wrapper has just been kind of falling apart because I think it was over steamed, but I see like full chunks of shrimp, so that's a good sign. Let's give this a whirl, shall we? Well, it's really good, but I just scalded like the front half of my tongue. This is part of this is part of the experience. I feel like this is part of the experience. I like how this one actually has like a lot of pork bun filling in it as opposed to other places that we've been to. The ratio here is the best. It's definitely the porkiest. I feel like I've, I've had better barbecue sauce, but the filling to like wrapper ratio and the porky flavor wins here. This is like one of my favorite dishes at dim sum and I have never ever been disappointed with a pork shumai or pork shrimp shumai. This one also does not disappoint. The only thing is like the wrapper is a little thicker. So this is what the server recommended us get. It is one of their signature dishes and one of their most popular dim sum dishes here at Dynasty. I didn't know if the lemon and the pork would really kind of like go together. Um, but I'm pleasantly surprised. I think like it, the, the acidity and the lemon like brightness kind of go very well together with the barbecue pork. And that flaky pie crust is everything. After successfully stuffing myself full of Vancouver's best dim sum, it was time to decide which one was my favorite. We just finished eating at three different dim sum spots. It was a great experience. I feel so stuffed, but I have things to say and I'm ready to declare a winner. We went to three places. We went to Jade, and they do all day dim sum. We went to Chef Tony in Richmond. We went to Dynasty in Fairview. They all had their high points. For instance, Jade, all day dim sum, and you can get your dim sum craving night and day, any time of the week, which I think is their best point. Other than that, I think their dim sum was pretty much standard. There wasn't that many options to choose from. Chef Tony's, that place was packed. We were waiting 45 minutes like in the mid on like a Wednesday at noon and we waited so long, but it was worth the wait. Chef Tony puts very innovative ingredients into his otherwise classic dim sum dishes and each, each different little twist on those dishes really, really, really paid off for me at the end because I enjoyed each and every dish. And finally, Dynasty. Dynasty was more on the higher end scale of things. It was fine diny kind of. I think the biggest takeaway for me is that Dynasty got me to like foie gras and got me to like taro even more. So. That's what I have to say about Dynasty. I think it's pretty much apparent from the way that I have described these three places. Um, and if you watched the whole journey, you will probably be able to guess which one was my favorite. It was Chef Tony's. Chef Tony, I mean, we ordered so much. That spread was quite large, but 
I mean, it was hard to pick even like the most favorite dish of that restaurant because everything was so good. The bitter gourd steamed rice roll, that vibrant green, uh, it, it wasn't just for show, it actually was one of the best steamed rice roll dish, like dim sum that I've ever had. Their cuttlefish ink shrimp dumplings were so delicious. And every dumpling wasn't like cooked six hours ago and like reheated. Nothing was sticking together, everything was made fresh. The ingredients all tasted fresh and it was light and it didn't like weigh you down as much as the other two places did. So that's my verdict. I thought that Chef Tony was the best dim sum place in Vancouver, um, but obviously we didn't hit all the spots. So let us know in the comment section if we missed any other great dim sum spots and which one your favorite is because I will be coming back to Vancouver. This city is amazing. Until next time.